Another fantastic collect. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Another fantastic Corvette from my father's collection. He collected 1963 through 1967 coupes. Uh, Corvettes, I should say, mostly coupes, mostly air-conditioned cars. This one has it all. High-performance 350 motor, factory air, power steering, power four-wheel disc brakes, bolt-on wheels, redline tires, side exhaust, leather seats, leather headrest, power windows, AM, FM, loaded. 650 miles on a body off frame restoration and it is numbers matching. Go to volocars.com, that's where you'll find the price tag on this one, and about 200 other classic cars, all for sale, and all have a monthly finance option listed with them as well. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon. To be notified as the videos are posted. We're posting a lot of great videos, including an, an entirely separate test drive video where they go through and demonstrate the whole car. They're real exciting. Look for those on our YouTube channel. So the body looks fantastic. I don't see any damage. The headlights fit beautifully. The hood fits beautifully. The headlights work, of course. Straight, no damage. I don't see cracking. I don't see signs of repair. Now the coupes, I, I keep telling you that the doors go all the way up into the roof. So it has to fit all the way around. You know, normally a body man has to align the front and the back, but this is all the way around. Opens effortlessly, shuts like a new car. Has this nice body line. We love the coupes because of the curved window, the boat tail design, just the look of it. It's like artwork. They made less of them. They're harder to find than the convertible. Just Google 1967 Corvette for sale and you'll find roadsters, not coupes. All still looking fantastic. The fiberglass is prepped and worked beautifully. It is all straight, effortlessly, shuts like a new car. Repainted its original Sunfire yellow color. Beautiful, smooth, glossy. Actually, I haven't seen a flaw yet. Here's a hairline, looks like two eyelashes laying right there. Uh, all in excellent shape. No nicks, no chips, no cracks that I'm seeing. Don't want you to buy it and say, oh, I missed one down here. But I mean, I'm looking at it pretty closely and it's practically flawless. New windshield, the stainless trim looks new. All the rubber seals, all of it looks real nice and it fits real nice. Rear window is one of the better ones I've seen, although there's a couple light scratches. Back then, when it was new, they put air condition right on the window. It was that big of a deal to have air condition in a car, in a Corvette. Uh, it was 10% of the cost of the car. Remember, homes weren't air conditioned back then. So that was a big deal. Uh, radial red line tires, they're BF Goodrich. New bolt-on aluminum wheels. Side exhaust looks great on any car and sounds great. I just pulled the car in here. It's like, oh yeah, it's got that distinct sound. You could blindfold me and I could tell you it's a Corvette side exhaust. Uh, they moved the reverse lights. First year, they moved them here instead of here. All this looks like brand new. The gas door, the right FM antenna, door handle, bow tie mirror. All of this looking really sweet. Let's open up the inside. I got a lot more to show you. My dad's been dealing with these Corvettes since the early 70s. We have black and white pictures of these type of cars lined up for sale uh, that he was selling. So he knows these cars. He put together a 25 car collection. Each one was handpicked for various reasons, but he was really after the coupes, really after the air conditioning. Comfort and luxury is what he calls it. Uh, and this one's got it all, the performance and the luxury. You can see the door jams all painted beautifully. The weather strips were replaced. Door panels look like brand new, including the hardware that's on them. The instrument panel is pristine, 627 miles since the restoration. All these gauges work. The dash pads are mint, all the trim, the speaker, the vents, uh, air conditioned cars, you can spot them right away. It has the vent and these knobs. If it was a non-air car, it wouldn't have those. Uh, all this is mint, the glove box door, glove box liner. It's real nice. The light works. The AC duct work is nice and clean. <clears throat> the light works in here. All real nice carpet. 
got optional floor mats. Uh, AM, FM radio. The clock works and the radio works. I tried the radio. I mean, it is what it is. It's a little, little speaker up in the dash there, but it came on. Console looks like new, has the correct reverse lockout shifter. And look there, we got power window switches. This whole, uh, this is the first year the e brake was here too. Normally it was up under the dash, a lever you had to pull. Seat belts are in excellent shape. S soft leather upholstery, genuine leather seats with leather headrests. The headrests are a very rare option. I don't know how many, but of all the Corvettes that come through here, I hardly ever see that. It's all in nice shape. Carpet all the way to the back looks real good. It's got the jack assembly. Up above, the light works. All the trim looks real nice. Vinyl headlight, headliners in excellent shape. Visors, mirror, all that looks really good. Got just a term, yeah, I've got a headrest car. That's how rare it is. People, uh, the steering wheel's mint. Um, yeah, everything's beautiful in here. But yeah, getting back to the, I've heard that expression used. Yeah, I got a factory headrest car. It's that big of a deal. It's like a standalone thing to brag about. Oh, we got a whole bunch of goodies under the hood too. Look for Michael's test drive videos. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel, or if you go straight to the car on our website, if one's available, you'll find it there. But this is the optional 327, 350 horsepower versus the 300 horse. This has higher compression, a hotter cam. Um, it does have a factory aluminum intake, and it's uh, indicated by the thinned valve covers. Otherwise, they would have been orange tin valve covers. Tin versus thinned. Uh, all stock manifolds, ignition shielding, the right air cleaner. And look, we've got power brakes. Looks like stainless brake lines. All the wiring looks proper. Uh, GM hose clamps, proper cooling system. Power steering is hiding down there. And yes, factory air condition, that's a rarity. Um, there's the expansion tank, GM heater hoses, the battery gets moved to the other side when you have a factory air car. So you got 350 horse as an option, air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, you got four options sitting right there. And to get air, the high horse engine with a four speed, that's rare. Usually you get those options in an automatic. Now over here is a a board my dad puts together for most of his Corvettes, the NCRS uh, shipping report. It was sold new in Pasadena, California. Some miscellaneous literature, ownership history, owner's manual, and kind of a nice checklist. People ask about numbers and codes. There it is for you. All right, now let's talk about the underside. The body was literally detached from the frame, the entire chassis looks like it was all restored all the frame and components were prepped and painted semi-gloss black it is independent suspension front and back that's all been gone through it is upgraded with bilstein gas shocks at each corner uh, disc brakes at each corner the brake lines the hoses that's all been replaced uh, looking up at the motor clean chevy orange uh, starter looks fresh has the VIN number matching Muncie four-speed transmission. Uh, in back, it is a 370 Posi rear end dated and coded to this car. So it's a spunky gear. Um, should be lots of fun shifting those gears, hearing those pipes, all while you're within the comfort of leather seats and power windows and cool air conditioning. Um, fiberglass floors are in excellent shape. Has the spare tire carrier in the back. So this is one of the premium cars of the collection because of the combination of features. Don't compare this to one just like it that doesn't have air and leather seats and headrest, or one that doesn't have pipes or aluminum wheels. You look at one with hubcaps and no pipes, it's a different car, and that's 10 grand minimum to change it, more than that, to upgrade those things. This one has it all. 
Go to volocars.com. Salesmen are happy to answer your questions the best they can, including how to get this delivered to your door and how to get it financed. Thanks for watching.